All right, so I had a question, so I'm just gonna answer it real quick, at least the best way I can. Um, you talked about getting an alpha that goes all the way around. In this case, I, I used it to do an extrusion or whatever, and we can back up a little bit, and you can see there's the alpha going all the way around. So how did I get that? Really, the easiest way to do it is to use a different program first, just to get it unwrapped. And all I mean by unwrapped is I have a cylinder with the UVs um, all set up inside of here. So it's just really clean all the way across. I'm not worried about the top and the bottom. And then we, you know, export it out. It's whatever 3D program you want that gives you good UVs. Unfortunately, ZBrush, I'm not the king of using ZBrush's UVs. Um, and they're pretty crappy if you don't play with them a little bit more than I do. But inside of ZBrush, uh, then you import it. So I'll just say, um, let's see, Z plugin. And then, uh, my brain here. Export, import, import. And we'll just go to that. It's off screen, so bear with me here. Handle, and there it is. There's the file handle. And then um, the way I do things um, to get a hard surface, you know, keep it hard surface inside of here, is if I go shift up, I can see what this looks like. And then I go to uh, poly groups, and I just tell it to group by normals in this case, because it's going to give me two different groups. And then I just go up to geometry, and I say crease, uh, and I don't need anything else but crease poly groups. So it keeps those edges creased, which means that if I turn that off and I divide now, it'll keep smoothing the round cylinder part, but give me more divisions because everything is based off of division instead of ZBrush. So I'm going to divide it one more time to give me 1.96 million because I have a pretty fine alpha right there. And then after you do that, um, you might as well just collapse it real quick and then come into surface. And what I want to do is when I'm making this alpha, I suppose I know I want it here, okay? What I usually do is give myself some breathing room. So I'll go like this. And if I know I just went from here to here or whatever, I'll do the bigger area than I'm planning. Like that. Okay, so I have that. Now it's ignoring everything outside of there. And then I come down to surface and inside of surface, I say noise and inside of noise, I pick alpha and I go pick my alpha, which is so weird that it loses itself every two times I click. Um, right here, this is the alpha I'm gonna use for this one, it's just this one. And right now it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but let's turn it up and show you what the strength looks like. First off, we're getting this this noise because the noise is still on, so we turn off the noise. And the secondly, um, the other thing it's, oh, turn off the noise. Secondly, the other thing it's doing is it's not unwrap, using the unwrap because it's set to 3D. If you go to UVs, bam, now the unwrap's set up. Now you just have to put your scale the way you want. And the big thing you want to do is find that crease and then that's where you go, like 0.25. And there we can see the crease is gone and it's going pretty good. And we know that this is extra, so I can all the way down to here, I can pull it to wherever I need to. So I've got that, um, you know, you can turn it all the way up. It doesn't really seem to matter. I don't think it might might with a more robust um, alpha. So I'll say okay. And what you get is this weird thing, right? And you really didn't want to do it this way. You could, meaning you didn't want to extrude and everything. But what we'll do is we'll just say mask by noise. And now we have our mask exactly all the way around, exactly where that we want. And we'll just do a control and drag to get another mask that close off this area. And control and drag another area like that. Oh, let's just go down to here. And then you can do whatever you want. You've got a perfectly masked cylinder in this case. And then um, you can, um, what I used before was the deformation. I'll go down to balloon, I'm gonna go negative three. And there we go. Or we could go positive three. And there's your, uh, Turn that off, and now you've got the geometry the way you want it. I hope that answered your questions. Uh, it was really short. Um, if it didn't answer your questions, let me know, and we'll come back and attack it anyway. There's a couple different ways you can do this. This is just the easiest way that um, I've found other people have talked about. Um, there's some other things you can do, but if you have it unwrapped, is the big thing. Unwrapping it and getting it laid out nice and clean is the big thing you want. All right, let me know if there's any more questions. Thanks.